Hey guys, what's going on? This is Bo. This is The Man Review. Does it really work? And today I have behind me the span panel. Yeah, that's the span panel. It replaces the traditional electric panel, which looks like a bigger version of that little gray sub panel right there. This thing is really cool, and we got it installed when we got the solar system. Uh, so we have 37 panels, 13.8 kilowatt hours on the roof. And what this does is let you use your iPhone to remotely control it. Obviously, it looks better, and I will spin around here and give you a real good look at the span panel. So, open up on the side. Handy LED lights inside. At this point, it looks a lot like a traditional panel. Your main breaker, your individual breakers. You can see this was made with the EV World in mind because they also have a charger available. And then using the app, you can print this out, a breaker map, which I think is super cool. Easy to update if anything changes. These individual breakers are just popped in and out like any other breaker would be, so a traditional electrician, for the most part, can work on it. Uh, we've had really no issues uh, since we've started. Why would anyone want the span panel? That's probably the first question you're asking. It's a very expensive electric panel. But the cool thing about it is the electric panel is something that's not been reinvented in roughly 70, 80 years since we started using them. It's a, something you never think about, you just expect to work. Um, pretty much any great product invention in the last 10 years has redefined a category, and the span is the first to try to redefine the uh, category of electric panels. Uh, the first thing that comes to mind when I think of something mundane and boring that we never thought of and now we couldn't imagine not having is the Nest thermostat. You just set your thermostat and you forget it. You might change it seasonally. You might change it once in the summer, once in the winter. Um, or you might like it cold, you might like it hot. Uh, but you just went to the wall, wherever that wall was, and changed the thermostat. Now, with an iPhone app, you can easily do that. And Nest kind of changed the game. I mean, they even have a better user interface when you're physically using the product with the twist dial. It's just better. Uh, span has done that with the span panel. Um, so I will show you a few things through the app and that will conclude the span panel review. Am I glad I got it? Does it really work? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you before you watch the uh, app portion of this. It does, it works great. So this is the span panel app. You see right when I open it, it takes a second to populate. And the first thing you see is solar on the left, grid in the middle, and the battery charge to the right. Now it's a cloudy day and we're making virtually no solar. It's also the morning time. You see what's going to the house right now from the spanel and you, and you span panel and you scroll down and you'll see the hot tub using the most, followed by the basement lights, etc. You can scroll down and see the circuit activity by area. It's kind of dull. Um, not a lot going on there. You can see it by area in panel. Again, just real time, what it's using at that very moment, how much battery you have. Must have backup circuits you see below that. Right now, if the power went out, we'd have roughly an hour and five minutes. Now, we would obviously change that if the power did go out and Tesla's power wall is smart enough to know what's coming. You see the energy we used this week. You see how much carbon we've avoided this week, roughly two pounds of coal. Uh, it's also Monday, so we've not had much time to avoid hardly any. Where is the electricity coming from? Hydroelectric, that is wildly inaccurate. Georgia is almost entirely natural gas and nuclear. We have Jackson EMC as a provider, so I'm not sure why it says that. You can see a little bit of the history if you scroll through this portion of the app. It's just overall pretty informative. It's way more information than you would ever get from a traditional electrical panel. When your panel door was open or closed, that might matter if someone messed with it. Uh, that's the only reason I would think so. And then briefly, that. So that is the span panel review. And if you have any questions or comments, drop them below. Uh, please like and subscribe to this video. Stick with us. Hopefully this was helpful to you.